Hey guys, Red Pine Running here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. All right, I wanted to show you guys this new Hash Watcher app. I've actually already done a video about this already, but what I want to specifically do in this video is add a few more to my Hash Watcher app here because the benefit that I've been seeing with this app, I'm able to see all the statistics regarding my Avalon Q or my Nano 3s or even my Octax here. Over the past week that I've been testing this app, it's really cool to see all the temperatures, even the singular chip temperatures of my Avalon Q. I thought that was really cool. You can actually see each individual chip temperature in the app here. And of course, I can't forget the best feature here is controlling the fan speed of my Avalon Q, which in this video, I need to add four more Avalon Qs to the app here so that I can control the fan speed and also just monitor everything, efficiency, power consumption, and also be able to change the work mode here. Stay tuned, I do have the beta version of the Hash Watcher app for Android devices. Right now, it's not on the Google Play Store, but it should be pretty soon. And I'll have another video testing out the Android app and adding a few miners on here. So stay tuned for that. So I'm showing you guys the Apple one today, or iOS on the App Store uh, for Hash Watcher. Uh, you may see here, I do have a widget. You can actually expand this widget and add it like this. So you can see with an Octac specifically because it has the bigger screen, you can mimic the screen on your iOS home screen as a widget, just like this. I thought this was really cool. So how to add a, another widget to show like that on an Octax. Specifically search for Hash Watcher and then you need to, on your iPhone, you need to hold it down and you need to add to home screen. So it'll make another Hash Watcher button here. You hold it again, then we can change the icon to a widget style like this. So click on that and it'll open up just like this. Okay, and now how we edit this widget, you just hold it down again and you're gonna edit the widget and this is where you can choose the nerd remote view. So for screens that have a display. So right now I only have one connected. So let me add another Octax actually. So let's go back in, let's go back in here. We're gonna add another Octax. We're gonna add this one actually. I don't have this one in my app. So this is a good, this is a good test. So we're gonna hit the plus sign at the top here. Add a miner, okay, so this is gonna be a bit ax. Okay, and I'm just gonna call this octax02 and then add the IP address. 172 for me is 116.46.126 and then hit uh, there and it's a solo miner, hit connect and it says miner added successfully. Okay, we're gonna hit close here and now you can see I have octax02 here. Added. Okay, so now go back to your home screen here. We can edit the widget and now we can select remote Octax 02. All right, and then you just click outside and there we go. Look at that. We can see it on the home page like this for the if you have an Octax. That's really cool. You know what? I have a Nerd QX Hydro. I'm going to see if I can add that as another widget. Give me one sec. Yes, there we go. Yeah. I can add the Nerd QX on here as well as a widget. Isn't that cool? That's so cool to see it just like this. Yeah, I love that on the app home screen like this. But yeah, of course you can click into each one and then you can see more statistics here. Uh, change the fan speed if you want or even overclock. Okay, so this is a feature I truly like on here and they also have the danger zone option here um, just like in the web GUI of the bit axis you can change the voltage and frequency on here in increments of 5 for the frequency or uh, voltage will be increments of 10 which is so cool. They also just added the chance, the probability of depending on how much hash rate you have the odds of finding a Bitcoin block or a BCH block right at the top there. There's a calculator for this now. That's really cool. All right guys, so I'm gonna now add all of my Avalon Qs. Currently have one added as you guys can see here. I actually have it currently on super mode and I have it at 100% fan speed and the chip temperatures are at 88 degrees Celsius. So I have this running full bore right now, super mode taking you know almost 17 1800 watts right now but i need to add all my other avalon cues onto this app as well because i just hate the stock app the avalon family app 
sure, you know, you can control them this way, you can do eco, uh, standard, super mode, you can do all that stuff, but that's basically it. You can't change the fan speed or anything like that, so that's why the Hash Watcher app is much cleaner, much easier to manage these devices. I love it. Okay, so let me add, I have a Avalon Q that's sitting right there right there and let me get the IP address and I'm going to add a uh, can and beta right now it's in beta okay so I'm gonna add that right now I need to all I need is just to put my name for the device and the IP address it could be whatever name you want to give it the IP address has to be the one corresponding to your network and you know your device has to be on Wi-Fi on the same network so actually this is a question I got last time Red Panda can you access your devices uh, from outside of your house, let's say through your data plan? Yes and no, okay, so if you are technically inclined, you know how to VPN or create a VPN server or some sort in your house so that you can connect your phone to VPN to your home network here, then the Hash Watcher app will work because you are then on your local network from the outside utilizing a VPN. I'm not gonna go through how to create a VPN server in this video, I'm not that type of channel, but you guys can YouTube how to do that. There's many different variations out there ubiquity has their own vpn server if you have you know a v, uh, ubiquity router you can install open vpn or use wireshark vpn as well there's tons of different options out there you just have to do your research if you know how to set up a vpn uh, for your phone so that you can access your home network from the outside okay i've added my second avalon q i got the ip address okay uh, it's a solo miner i'm gonna hit connect and it says miner added successfully Okay, and you gotta hit the close button to go out. And let's see, all right, we got six devices on here now. Yeah, we can see this Avalon Q02 is added. Look at that, that's so cool. So I'm on eco mode right now, I'm getting 59 terahash, 64 degrees sem uh, Celsius temperature. Of course, you can click into it and you can see even more in-depth temperatures of the chips themselves. That is super cool. I love that. I love that. You can see pool status as well. I'm currently actually not solo mining. I am pool mining to power pool right now. And another cool thing, I can actually see the latency to the pool. That is a really, that's really cool. So if I were solo mining with these, you can see the solo mining latency. Actually, let me go to one of my oct axes. I want to see if there is pool status here. Yep, pool status. And you can see the latency for this one here, 75 milliseconds that's that's really cool okay all right i have three more avalon cues to add so i do have one already added this one's added let me add three more i'll be right back okay i've added all of my five avalon cues and yeah if you guys are wondering you can rearrange how you want to see them in the app you just have to hold it down and you can move it around just like that in whichever order that uh, you would like. Okay, so I moved my Avalon Q down. It was at the top before. All right, there we go. I got an Avalon Q that is getting 97 terahash right now. I got another one, uh, 96 terahash, 89 degrees Celsius. That's getting pretty hot. But I do have a few other Avalon Qs which I don't have running on super mode. They're on eco mode, as you guys can see. And I do have another one here that's on standard mode. This one's getting about 82 terahash. All right, pretty sweet. Fan speed's at 74 on this one. This one I can just, on the fly, change it to 100, and it goes. I can even change the, again, I can change the work mode here if I want to. All right, that's it, guys. Yeah, this is, this is the best. I love that I can see all my miners under one here. I did pay for the full, uh, the full app for a year, I believe it's $50, but I find a lot of value in this because, again, I can control all the fan speeds, I can see them just like this. There's actually a really cool leaderboard thing here as well. I thought this was really cool to show which devices has found like the highest difficulty share. That's that's really cool actually. Anyways, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Yeah, you can't change the widgets um, for, I guess, the Avalon devices. It looks like this is only for the nerd. Uh, Nerdax devices as you guys can see here there's no Avalon option here to show up like as a widget like this which I find really cool actually let, let me know your guys' thoughts about this but anyways I'll have links down below thank you to Hash Watcher for sponsoring this video uh, to show you guys this app and you know how to control your Avalon Qs, Nerd QX++'s you can put your bit axes on here Nano 3's 
and monitor everything. Avalon Cues, I just love it. This is this is the way to go. This is honestly the way to go. This app is feature rich. It's it's pretty good. All right, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys have added your devices, used your app, uh, if you guys have any issues, just comment down below as well. And uh, Mr. Hash Watcher will uh, view this video and see if he can fix any issues that you guys are having. I love the Bitcoins that are dropping. Look at that, dropping as well. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.